Hi guys! Today I thought I'd take you with me around town as I ran some errands because I want to read the story Rules of the House by Mac Marnett and Matt Meyer. And in this story, the main character Ian, he faces the decision to follow the rules or do what's right, but first you have to know what the rules are. So as I take you around today, see if you can find how many rule signs there are about how we should act in different places. And then, let's talk about it afterwards. Here we go. Follow me. followed me around and we counted how many types of expectations there are in a place as I went today. Let's read the story. Rules of the House by Mac Barnett and Matt Myers. Ian always followed the rules. Here he is following the rule, always pack your toothbrush. Rules are meant to be followed, Ian would say. And Ian meant it. Ian's older sister was Jenny, and she never followed the rules. Here she is breaking the rule, don't pinch. Ow, Jenny pinched me, said Ian. No, I didn't, said Jenny. Don't tell lies, said his dad, as he pulled into their vacation house in the woods. That is a very important rule. The house in the woods was tidy and warm. The living room had a pot belly stove and the den had a bearskin rug and the bathroom had a claw foot tub. Ian thought it was great. Best of all was a framed piece of paper in the hallway that said, the rules of the house. Look, said Ian, rules. You're such a toady, said Jenny, and then pinched him. Ouch, said Ian. You're not supposed to ouch. Ian drew a deep breath and read the rules with gusto. The rules of the house. We trust you will respect the house by observing the following rules. One, remove muddy shoes before entering the house. Two, don't leave a ring around the bathtub drain. Three, replace the firewood you burn. Four, never, ever open the red door. Signed, management. Everybody got that, said Ian. Yes, Toady, said Jenny. Ouch, said Ian. During the day, Ian and Jenny and Dad did forest things like hiking, but Ian kept to the marked trails and swimming. But Ian waited an hour after eating and climbing trees. But Ian climbed no branch higher than his head. But this is not a story about the forest, no. This is a story about the house. Because of course, it wasn't long before Jenny started breaking the rules. She tracked mud all over the rug and wrapped her hair around the drain. 
She roasted marshmallows, but never gathered more wood. Jenny, said Ian, you're breaking the rules. Ian, said Jenny, I wish you would disappear. Ian pointed to the paper on the wall. You've already broken rules one through three. So what, said Jenny, it's not even our house. Doesn't matter, said Ian. Rules are rules, and rules are meant to be. Listen, Toady, Jenny moved towards the red door. If you say that one more time, I swear I will open this door. Rules are meant to be. Jenny turned the knob. Ian shouted, rules are meant to be followed. Jenny flung the door open. Nothing happened. Until that night, the rug was the first to knock on their bedroom door. My beautiful fur is matted and muddy. Who broke the house rules? We did, said Jenny. Liar, said Ian. It was only her. Toady, said Jenny. The rug smiled. I will have this rule breaker for dinner. Not so fast. The tub leaped into the room. I've had a taste of her hair and I'm hungry for more. I will have this rule breaker for my dinner. But what about me, said the stove. My belly is empty and there is no wood downstairs. I will have this rule breaker for my dinner. Those terrible creatures stepped closer and closer. Ian knew just what to do. He grabbed his toothbrush and he ran away. Serves her right, thought Ian as he ran through the woods. She should have listened, thought Ian as he jumped over a root. After all, thought Ian as he ducked under a branch. Rules are meant to be. And Ian stopped. He scratched his arm, the one that usually got pinched. And he decided, even if there wasn't a rule that said, Always save your sister from being eaten by monsters. Maybe there should be. When Ian got back to the house, the creatures were all in the kitchen. The tub and stove boiled some water while the rug chopped some aromatic vegetables. Rule breaker soup for dinner, they sang. Rule breaker soup for dinner. It wasn't a very clever song, but the tune was catchy. Rule breaker soup for dinner. They built it out in a three-part harmony. Ian rushed into the kitchen. Stop, he said. Don't eat my sister. What Ian, said the stove. She did not follow the rules. Yeah, but, said Ian, but. It was then that Ian realized he didn't have a plan. sister you'll have to eat me first brilliant the monsters wouldn't eat him Ian always followed the rules okay said the stove let's eat him fast like an appetizer apparently there was no rules about who monsters could eat the creatures drooled as they drew closer Ian backed against the wall he brandished his toothbrush the monster stopped. What is that? asked the rug. That red thing in his hand. Ian looked down. It's a toothbrush. A toothbrush? asked the stove. What is that? You use it to clean your teeth after you eat, said Ian. Don't you guys have toothbrushes? No, said the tub, looking very solemn. We, we never seen one before. Ian laughed. You were going to eat us and you don't even have toothbrushes? 
you're supposed to always pack a toothbrush. That's a rule. It is? asked the toad. Yes, said Ian. You broke a rule. You're rule breakers. We are? asked the rug. What's going to happen to us? Ian remembered his father's words. Don't tell lies. And then he forgot them. Oh man, said Ian. Oh man, oh man, oh man. When you break the toothbrush rule, very bad things happen. When you break the toothbrush rule, a huge monster comes for you. How big is the monster? asked the tub. As big as you three put together, plus a little bit. Oh my, said the stove. Yes, said Ian. The monster has long hair and green eyes and sharp pink nails and it creeps up behind you and gives you a pinch. Ian, said the rug, what is a pinch? This is. Ian nodded at Jenny. And Jenny gave each of the monsters a good hard pinch from behind. Ouch! cried the creatures as they fled down the hall and through the red door. Ian and Jenny slammed it shut behind. Thank you, said Jenny. You're welcome, said Ian. You lied for me, said Jenny. So, said Ian. So, isn't that against the rules? Don't be a toady, said Ian. And Jenny pinched him, but it didn't hurt. The end. Our character Ian had to decide when it was time to do what was right and when it was time to follow the rules. In our story, The Rules of the House by Mac Barnett and Matt Myers, I hope they inspired you to choose to always do what's right.